All right, this will be um, 2005 form B number three from the uh, AP Calculus AB exam. Um, given a function, so I'm going to define it. B of T equals, um, or set equal to, which is colon equals, and then it's natural log of T squared minus 3T plus 3. Um, first question, I need the acceleration of the particle at T equals 4. Well, um, a of t equals v prime of t. So what I'm going to do is find v prime of, so it's t, and I want v prime of 4, and that's going to be of v of t. So I get 5 sevenths. So, uh, yeah, there are no units given, so 5 sevenths is my answer there. Uh, the next question is to find all times at which the... Um, particle changes direction. So I will do that by graphing v of x in this case. I don't want to graph v of t because nothing will show up. v of x, um, let's change the window, menu for 1. And we want 0 to 5 because that's what they told us. And then I need some zeros. so menu 6, 1. Uh, there's 1, 0. And Menu 6, 1. I could have done this by hand, but calculator problem. So, you know, why bother? Uh, so the particle changes direction at t, equal one, t equals 1 and t equals 2 because v prime changes uh, v of x, rather, v of t, I guess, changes sign at those values. Um, so that would be my reasoning. v of t changes sign at t equals 1 and t equals 2. Therefore, the particle changes direction. Um, but there's a little sub-question here. When is the particle traveling to the left? Uh, the particle is traveling to the left between 1 and 2 because uh, v of t is less than 0 on that interval. Um, so that would be my answer to part b. Um, for part c, let's insert a new page. Not a new problem, new page. Um, and we need the position at t equals 2. Well, we know where it is at t equals 0, so it's at 8. So at t equals 2, it'll be at Eight, where it was plus the integral from 0 to 2 of v of t dt. So that's a rearrangement of the fundamental theorem. Uh, it's, whoa, pretty common. Um, and so I would, uh, I would use the approximate answer. Um, put 8.369. I remember three decimal places unless otherwise stated. Um, the next question could trip you up if you don't read it carefully. Um, so this question is about the average speed of the particle, and we know that speed is the absolute value of velocity. So average, we're really looking for the average value of the speed function. So that is a definite integral from 0 to 2 of the absolute value, which has a template here, of v of t. So that's going to be divided by 2 minus 0. So that's how you find the average value of the speed function, which is the average speed of the particle, and I get 0 0.0371, um, and that's how I'd answer this question. So I hope you have found this helpful. Good luck.